Tony Thomas, CIO of Nissan. Welcome to Stanford University in Systems Leadership. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit about your job in the company now that you've been there nine months. Sure. Um, so I joined as the CIO for Nissan. Um, I have primarily three aspects to my job. First and foremost is run the traditional IT mm -hmm. estate that we have across the brands, divisions, and the regions. Second is to drive the digital transformation that uh, Nissan is undergoing because of the changes in the automotive industry. And last but not the least is about building a set of talent mm -hmm. that can enable us to thrive in the digital environment that we are in. All right, so let's talk about the second one for a second. How are the changes in the mobility industry impacting you and your job at Nissan? Yeah, it's actually very interesting when I mean, you think about it because uh, first and foremost, the buying model is changing more towards e-commerce rather than the traditional way of going to the dealers and you know looking at the car at the dealers and making a decision then and there. Second is about the connected services as we call it. So cars have become an extension mm -hmm. of your persona in some form. Then of course you know about the autonomous and the electric, mm -hmm. uh, the other pieces that we are working on. If you really look at uh, the e-commerce models, it's predominantly coming from my team because it's uh, you know it's the digital, the IT aspects that are driving it. Services, a lot of capabilities come from our team because it's all driven from the need of the customer, knowing the customer, the customer relationship. But all the four things that I talked about, in a way, at the end of the day, is driven through data, mm -hmm. uh, data of the of the car, from the car, of the customer about the customer behaviors, usage, et cetera. So all in all, I think, uh, you know, my team is front and center of, of, of this transformation that is going on. So as you think about the customer experience, how do you think about the actions and activities of legacy competitors, Toyota, Volkswagen, GM, versus new upstarts like Tesla? Yeah, so I honestly do not know, I haven't done a full study of all that, So, mm -hmm. but, but for me coming from uh, companies like Vodafone or Citibank, you know, where where consumer experience is something that we thrive for. For me, the way I look at it is that how can we as a company put the best set of information in front of our customers so that they can see what products are available, what can they afford, or how can we help them afford, uh, how do they configure, how do they buy the right car, how do they service, how do they manage. So to me, it's about that end-to-end -end relationship, that 360 degree view for the customer that we can provide. Um, and again, I, you know, I've not really seen case studies where car companies are being used as the best examples, mm -hmm. but but from a potential perspective, you know that's our opportunity. What's it been like for you to come into a large mobility company like Nissan and not be from the mobility industry? <laughs> I think for me, at least, I look at it as a strength, mm -hmm. because like I said, I've seen other industries very much. I've been in telcos, I've been in banks, I've been in uh, uh, heavy mm -hmm. manufacturing. Uh, so for me, you know, the strengths that I bring from these companies, and today's automotive industry is not a monolithic automotive mm -hmm. manufacturing company. The connected services we talked about, the autonomous, we talked about a lot of telco capabilities are there, the customer experience that customers are looking for comes from the consumer world and the banks, the regulations, the security. So I think, you know, what, what today's automotive industry is a culmination of all those consumer mm -hmm. segments that I worked in and the industrial segment that I've worked in as well. So you've been there now nine months. What are the top two or three things where you're spending your time, and how did you determine that those are the areas where you need to be? Yeah, so in my case, uh, you know, when we talk about digital transformation, which is important for us beyond the traditional running of IT, we need to do three things well. First and foremost, have the right set of platforms mm -hmm. that can manage the data, uh, store the data, and transport the data. The second is about having the right environment for our people to thrive in, be it in my team, be it the manufacturing folks, be it the sales folks. Um, and last but not the least is about having a team who are more an agile, uh, a quick win type of development environment that we can that we can have in. So to me, it's, it's in those three areas, the platforms, mm -hmm. uh, the, the workplace, and the skills that we're looking for. You talked about your time at GE and Vodafone and City. What's been the biggest difference that you have found, perhaps unexpectedly, of being inside of a company like Nissan? I think to me, you know, when you are joining Nissan, you know, it's a Japanese company that you know it, and you, 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 you come to think about certain uh, aspects of the company. But when I came here, what surprised me was that what you know about the company from outside and what I'm seeing from inside, it's a lot of difference because the company being very humble in its nature, a lot of the good things that we are doing is not really visible to the market other than through the products themselves. Okay. Uh, so I think to me that's an opportunity that I as a CIO can help bridge as well 
uh, some of the big products that we are coming up with through our intelligent mobility, autonomous driving, etc. Although people, you know, although we have the best cars in electric vehicles, you know, we are not talking about Nissan as the pioneer. You know, we have, you know, a lot of people are using other brands as the pioneer in that. So to me, I think that is the surprise that I found coming from outside in. But when I look from inside, I'm like, wow, you know, uh, I'm surprised in a positive way every day. All right, and lastly, how does your group interact with what I'll call the traditional product group inside of Nissan? The people who have decades and decades of expertise of designing cars and building cars at scale, and now you're bringing a digital perspective on it. How has that interaction gone? Yeah, so we are changing the dynamics, how we work. In the old days, it was more about an order taker. You know, we used to take a chunk of work, we used to build it somehow, and we used to return it. They would look at what we built. Sometimes it meets expectations, sometimes it doesn't. But we are changing that model. We are building, you know, more of a more of a you know ports or team of teams or mission-based teams, whereby, you know, both the product teams, uh, the 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 customer in the scenario, and ourselves sit together and we build it, and in a very short cycle rather than long projects. Uh, so in that sense, you know, there is ownership, there is better understanding, there is better you know quick uh, you know speed to delivery, etc. That that we need to win. So the today's session in the class is leading through uncertainty, and I can't think of anybody who's come as a guest in our class who is going through more uncertainty in his industry than you are. So, Tony, thank you very much for coming to Stanford. We really appreciate your time. Thank you for the opportunity. really enjoyed that. Thank you.